presentation of the Star Spangled Banner. And we've got plenty more coming up. Stay tuned. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. With Greg Anthony and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. And uh, look now at a few years' worth of data. Uh, some of the assist numbers under the microscope for Harden. And the trend that he's going through with his assist numbers dropping over the past few years isn't a good one. I don't want to say he's become a more selfish player because that, that's too harsh, but he's become a little too concerned about finding his own shot rather than creating for his teammates. Uh, he may want to rethink that. And as things get ready to roll, let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's on the sideline. David? Well, James Harden is both famous and infamous with his skill at getting to the foul line. Some don't like it, but Harden says free throws are a part of basketball. Either you're going to foul me or I'm going to score. Putting the pressure on the defense like that is tough. That's what makes a good player. Kevin, the lies told there. Well, no doubt, David, he is one of the best. Thank you. Yeah, it's no doubt that Houston now uh, is championship or bust. We've seen it. I mean, they've dished out huge contracts going full win mode now. I mean, they're putting it all on the line with this team. Here's the starting group for the Charlotte Hornets. Washington and Zeller are in the middle. Rozier and Monk, they're the backcourt. And it's Bacon in at the three spot. And for the Rockets, Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. Green is out there with P.J. Tuck. And it's Covington in at the three. So the Rockets win the tip. And here's Westbrook against New Orleans, who is really on his game. Passes to Green. Back to Westbrook. Over Rozier. Misses off the right iron. And the Rockets desperate for a return to the NBA final. Oh, the team has had their chances. They just need to make the most of it. I mean, front office, they're doing what they can help to make the most of Harden's prime. I mean, you have to admire their willingness to go for it now. Sinks the three-pointer. Oh, man, elevating his passing ability. Dimes like this from Rozier help him establish chemistry with his guys. Westbrook scanning the floor. Covington in the corner. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Long season, Chris. Talk about the challenges of maintaining focus and concentration throughout these 82 regular season games. Uh, I mean, I mean, the, the season just wears on you. First of all, physically, the travel, Shoot the two. games, the practice. So one, you have to get through it physically, so take care of your body. Second, mentally, just the fact that you go through every season from uh, Christmas uh, to the summertime. Can you just stay mentally prepared and, and engaged and remember what the big focus is, why all of you guys came together, uh, uh, the championship. So really, it's just a constant reminder that you have to do the little things every day. It's not about the big picture. It's day by day until we get to the end. And usually when you keep that narrow-minded type of focus, uh, you'll get to the end of the season and say, wow, that was quick. That was fun. And both free throws good for Covington. You know, this is the type of guy I like, from, from undrafted to a quality role player. I mean, he has heart. He's gotten better every year. Covington adds a lot to this team. Uh, he can let that thing fly, too. He's a fearless shooter. Here's Rogier. Green with the block. Three on three. Harden, no good. I love to see the defense exhibit some passion and, and, and protect the rim right there. Here's Washington, guarded by Green. And there's a whistle. That's going to go on James Harden. That is his first foul of the game. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. Zeller passes to Bacon. Six to shoot. Monk, no one around him, and it's the Hornets, another three. And you got to love that three-point stroke of Monk. I mean, he's got such a high-arcing shot there. It gives it a good chance to go in from deep. Now, here is Harden. He had 28 points in the win against New Orleans. And 
and his rebounding was solid in that effort as well. He did a lot of work on the glass all around it. Just his effort level was off the charts. Here's Monk. Doesn't get it to drop for him. The Rockets go the other way with it. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. Yeah, and, and that one, they caused a lot of misfires with their intensity on the defensive end. They played with energy and communicated well. It made things difficult. For Houston, they've gone 0 of 4, missing their first four field goals. Westbrook kicks to Harden. Outside, Covington. On the wing, Green. And here's Harden for three. Zeller grabs the board. Zeller's got four rebounds now tonight. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. Oh, look at him! Well, it's easy to see how hard he's been the league's top assist man before. I mean, he makes the special feed. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Now Rogier. He's coming off a 13-point game against Orlando. Yeah, as good of a score as he was in that game, he was even a better passer. A lot of assists for him. The shot by Monk is no good. Well, uh, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Well, you, you knew after the Paul George trade that the Thunder would look to sell on Westbrook as well. Just part of the rebuild at this point. His agent did well to get him to a team looking to compete. A great fit for a player in this stage of Russ's career. And the first one drops. For so long, the Hornets have been a perimeter-oriented team. Chris, now they need to find an impact big man. Yeah, well, G.A., remember, they did have a couple of good years with Al Jefferson, where he was a force inside. But that was the last time the team made the playoffs. More balance in their attack would do wonders for this offense. That one drops. He ties it up. And most fans think of the Rockets as offense only, but that's not the case at all. No, G.A., I mean, they force a good amount of turnovers, and they trap pretty well. I mean, the defense has been solid for them the past few years, if you ask me. Nothing mind-blowing, but this team is certainly not one-sided. Yeah, and the Hornets, they had a very strong bench, not only with their scoring, but how they impact rebounding and passing. I mean, one of the better benches in this league. And here's Rozier. He brings it up for Charlotte. Last game matched up with the Magic. A tough loss there. Scoring efficiency was an issue in that one. Took them too many shots to get their points. Yes, yeah, they, I mean, they had a hard time taking the lid off the basket. Their, their offense just looked flat. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Poke loose, and it's out of bounds. The Hornets able to retain possession here. And the Hornets have had a strong bench for a while now. Yeah, depth isn't a problem for this team, Kevin. Having a formidable starting five, though, has been. They need to consider trading some depth for an upgrade at the starting position. Five on the clock. And again, the Hornets missing. The rotation in the D could be better here. It, it'll cost them next time if it's not. Westbrook with the bucket. Like how confident Westbrook is close to the rim. Gets high off the ground and releases his shot quickly. Here's Rozier. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And 
and out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. Already it's February. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. You look at the Rockets. Right now they've compiled the sixth best record in the conference. Yeah, right now, though, the Rockets, they've stayed right there, just in sniffing distance of the conference leaders. That's a solid accomplishment at this stage of the season. Well, it's possible we haven't seen them at their best yet. They've shown they can play with any team in the league. Now they need to do it every night, not just some nights. Bacon's shot is off. Houston in the lead. Westbrook kicks to Green. Zeller grabs the board. He doesn't get the finish, but the D's got to be quicker to rotate and stop him from getting to the rim. Here's Monk. Nails the baby hook. Monk's got eight points. Anytime Monk gets room to shoot, especially inside, he's such a crafty guard who you want to see pulling the trigger from inside. Westbrook passes to Harden. Now Covington. Outside Westbrook. Drills it from outside. He's got nine. He's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. Now, here's Rogier. He's been a factor in their offense on most nights with his scoring average at nearly 16 points a game. Pass to Monk. And he overshot that one, missing. Not the most productive quarter he'll ever have, but his shot selection's been a little bit... Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Hornets trail by five. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. With some art. And Rozier with the nice bucket inside. Well, even from that range, the floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. Outside Westbrook. On the wing, Green. Harden outside. Fires the three. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Oh, I love how Harden pulls once he gets the ball. If you play off him just a little bit, Charlotte's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Rozier with the ball. Here's Zeller. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Uh, straight up effort gets him those points. That's what it's all about on the offensive glass. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. All players look for an edge, Chris. For example, certain guys are just so deceptive with the ball in their hands. I mean, you're always looking for whatever can give you that, that advantage. Two of the best. Players and people can complain as much as they want, but Harden getting to the line is genius because he knows how you're guarding him, and basically you got to stay away from him to guard him because he's so skilled. And by the way, Curry does the same thing and Curry one of the smaller players in the league but always finding a way to take the contact take the bump but to get the scoring up and I think as a fan for me I know as a fan for me it's fun watching the cat and mouse game between the offensive player and the defender seeing who can get the best of each other while involving the ref they just control their bodies so well they know exactly what they need to do to get that call and, and it's all on the spur of the moment I mean, I mean this is right. all on the fly such genius to watch play Harden outside. Gordon against Bridges. Or three. Westbrook. But they'll get another chance. Deep two from Carroll. And no good. Trying to use the glass. And it's Batum with the ball. Bringing it up for the Hornets. It's a three-point game. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Rockets team. And with this matchup being an East versus West affair, it will be the first of only two meetings between the teams. Yeah, it should be a fun game to watch. I mean, two teams that don't see each other that much. They'll learn a lot about each other tonight. Hornets trail by five. Graham surveying the floor to the inside. A nice shot by Zeller. He has great body control for a big man. Zella takes the hit, but keeps on finishing. 
outside Westbrook. Here's the three. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Right side, Batum. Tries again. He takes it up and lays it in. And now just a one-point rocket lead. I just love the aggressive attitude of Batum, especially how hard he hits the ball. Outside, Gordon. And there's the pass to Harden. Outside, Westbrook. Just five on the clock. No good on the three. And there's the foul. It will go on P.J. Tucker. That is his first foul of the game. So for the Rockets. Cephalosha comes in for James Harden. And it's Rivers in for Russell Westbrook. And a switch here also for Charlotte. Biambos checked in. Here's Graham. He's guarded by Rivers. Biambo dishes to Batum. To the left wing. And here is Graham. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Now look, even if he had other places to go with the ball, that's a good shot. You, you can't blame him for letting that one fly. Now Rivers. Right side, Gordon. Back to Rivers. Let's it go from deep. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. It's tipped. The Hornets trail. Here's Batum. He gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game. And a quick look here at some of the numbers for Zeller. And a promising trend this month is the rise in his effective field goal percentage. He's showing a lot of smarts. Shot selection has been tremendous, and it's helped his numbers a ton. it up and this next one could give them the lead well the Rockets are a team that is pushing NBA theory to the extremes with how they approach offense oh yeah every year they seem to go more to more threes or free throws I mean you can't fault them as it consistently works for them though I mean it's like watching a team experiment with what makes an NBA offense pass to Tucker shoots over Biombo. the Rockets again can't hit with the D playing soft off him. He might have been better off taking it to the hoop instead of settling for the jump. The offensive rebound. Wow, hammering it in. Oh. Nothing soft about the putback there. And why chance it, right? Take the dunk if you've got it. Yeah, guys, but where was the box out? No excuse letting him roam that freely on the glass. Outside, Gordon. Can they get it? First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. And Gordon has always been a lethal perimeter shooter. When he gets a clean look, he doesn't hesitate pulling the trick. Passes it to Hernan Gomez. Shoots over Carroll. The jumper's good from inside six feet. And the Hornets lead by two. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Rivers passes to Carroll. Over Bridges. It's Biombo with the rebound. Charlotte has gone three of five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. And the dunk by Batum. Well, that's the athleticism of Batum on full display. Really leaping up and powering the jam down. Now here's Rivers. Free and defending. Eric Gordon on the wing. Let's the three fly. The shot will not fall. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. They double him with Rivers. In the corner, it's Bridges. That three off the mark. A defensive breakdown. And they can't capitalize. He'll hit that shot almost every time. A nice shot by Rivers. These buckets help Rivers get going. The defense can't allow him to get comfortable from there. There's 42 seconds left to play here in the first. Graham with the ball. No points in the game yet for him. Outside, Batum. Rebounded by Safalosha. 
And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Here's Rivers. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. free throw is good now leading by one and Rivers works hard when he's in the game that's what you love about him he's at his best when he's shooting the ball with confidence and here is Graham there's the three here's Fernand Gomez and it's good but hold on the officials may want to look at that one on the replay monitor and it looks like they are going to review the play. The question, did he get the basket off in time? And honestly, guys, in real time, I couldn't really see whether he got it off in time. But with the benefit of replay, it seems pretty clear that the clock expired just before the release. And they're keeping the call as is. It was close, but he had not released it before the clock had expired. Yeah, still better safe than sorry. I think they did the right thing to take another look at it. And if it's so close that you can't tell by the naked eye, might as well go to the slow-mo. Russell Westbrook has been leading the charge for Houston. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Now a chance to hear shooting guard Eric Gordon talk about their key to winning. It's all about not making mistakes, getting rebounds, and getting good stuff to really push the pace up. And I think when we do that, we always are at our best. And Greg, nowadays, it's all about pushing the pace. And it's an offensive-oriented league now. When you execute and really look to attack, it puts the opposition on their heel. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. Let's quickly break down the game we've seen so far from the Rockets, guys. Well, they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. Setting the pace early, G.A. I like this aggressive mind state. I, I love this approach so far. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the floor for Charlotte. We've got Bridges. Bismack Biambo is out there with Hernan Gomez. Then there's Batum, and it's Graham in at the one spot. The first free throw is good. First, when you look around the NBA, which player most emulates the style and approach that you have? And you were special. But they, so oh. you've got to have a very special category for this one, I'm sure. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. That's flattering. I, I, and I like to be in the categories with these guys because I'm such fans of them. But Blake Griffin, when I think about him, and, and also Joel Embiid, the fact that Embiid can shoot out on the floor, he can space up, but in the post, he likes to go to work as well. I just think he gives you such a mix of offensive moves that you can't stop. But as a defender, uh, you're always worried and no guard and looking over your shoulder because you don't know what he's going to hit you with because he has so many options. But in my mind, there's only one Chris Webber. <laughs> <laughs> A nice shot by Rivers. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, it reminds me of that cameo song, Back and Forth. And it's Batum with the ball, bringing it up for Charlotte. They trail by one. Following this one, they get to host the Mavericks. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Jeff Green is checked in for Houston. Now, here's Bridges, guarded by McLemore. Now Graham. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Six on the shot clock. From deep. 
Rebounded by Cephalosha. Cephalosha's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's McLemore. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Oh, and that's the big time strength of McLemore. If you were going to foul this guy, you can't give him any daylight to get the shot off to. Here's what Charlotte's going with right now. Washington's checked in for Hernan Gomez. Dwayne Bacon comes in for Bridges, and it's Malik Monk in for Nicholas Batum. former Jayhawk McLemore, a gifted scorer who can really light it up in a hurry. Hornets trail by four. Graham, the pass to Monk. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Here's Bacon. Pass to Graham. Jacks up a three. The rebound by Jeff Green. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. Yeah, he just hit a rough patch. He's trying to climb out of it, but he hasn't been successful. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, Kevin, Charlotte's had to wait a bit the last few years. Now, the city hosted the All-Star game last season. But for the Hornets, they've gone three seasons without a playoff appearance and 15 seasons without winning a playoff series. In that time, the franchise has had seven head coaches in a shifting front office. But Buzz City is hoping that its wait for playoff relevance will end soon. Kevin? We all are. David, thank you. And the Rockets making a change here. Covington's checked in. Terry Rozier's checked in for the Hornets. Here's Monk, guarded by McLemore. Lock at six. Rogier for three. It's rebounded by Houston. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. The pass to Bacon. It's stolen by Green. And it's the Rockets on the break. Covington kicks to Cephalosha. To the paint. Puts it up from seven. And Green with the basket on the assist from Cephalosha. Green's got the lead up to ten now for Houston. And the Hornets call time here. They're trying to stem the tide here. Uh, yeah, they have to regroup and, and revisit their strategy at the defensive end. James Harden, he's checked in for Tabo Cephalosha. A moment here to see the stats for Covington. How his last 10 games have gone. He's right around nine points a night. Four rebounds and two assists. Nothing about his numbers really jump out at you, but he'll come up with a timely play or two every game. Yeah, and sometimes that's all they need, especially in a tight game. One or two plays can make all the difference. And one of those little spark plug guys, Terry Rozier, plays the game with, a, Greg, I think a chip on his shoulder. I mean, the story goes, as a kid, when his temper flared, his mother would have to sit on him. He's learned to channel that fire and emotion into his game. And the foul on Harden. That'll be his second foul of the game. Cody Zeller's checked in for Biombo. Zeller passes to Washington. The rebound by Jeff Green. Rockets on offense. They're on an 11-3 run. To the middle. It's picked off. It's tipped. It's stolen by McLemore. Now, here's Rogier. Pass to Bacon. 
And here's Zeller. He's guarded by Rivers. Charlotte moving it around. Five to shoot. Making the pass to Monk. A three. Kept alive by Charlotte. Zeller. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. And the work ethic of Zeller. Now that's what makes him dangerous with scoping out opportunities on the offensive glass. It's Harden with the drive. Shot clock reset for the Rockets. Passes it to McLemore. A second chance effort. Good. And it's Green picking up the assist. McLemore's got five points so far. So Rogier will bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. Seven point differential. Pass to Monk. Six on the shot clock. Over Green. The shot by Monk is no good. Rockets leading by seven. It's Harden with the drive. Rogier with the steal. Monk for three. Another shot. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on Ben McLemore. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. For Charlotte, they have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. And really, the form at the line all season has been terrific. 79% as a team. throw good from Washington Chris you have been passionate about honoring those who blaze the trail for today's NBA like the Globe Globetrotters and the Wrens in the days before integration yeah yeah I mean you, you think about what, what they've gone through off the court and on the court and and anyone regardless of color nationality of just paving the way for or for me as a basketball player I, I want to say thank you let's just think about what Red Arbeck did uh, drafting the first African-American player making uh, the first African-American player coach uh, in, in Bill Russell who won the championship that year and leaving him uh, a good team and if you look at organizations like the Black Fives and bringing awareness to the games and, and you just want to understand your legacy uh, culturally and that's why I have to every time I see Mr. Bill Russell, Big O, or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, I give him a big hug and a, and, and a wet kiss on, on the cheek because uh, I just thank them for not only advancing uh, the movement in sports, but culturally. Uh, sports has always uh, sent a message uh, to the culture and society about how cool teammates work together and how you can overcome a problem uh, by working together. And so I really thank them for enduring uh, all of the hardships that they did so that we can uh, reap the benefits. So it, it's been awesome to be part of the league and be able to shake hands with those that have blazed trails for us. That is so admirable on your part. Russell Westbrook's checked in for the Rockets. Love the attitude of Westbrook. Continues to improve at running the offense and finding ways to create opportunities for his teammates. Now, here's Monk. Defense is right there. Now the pass to Rozier. Here's Bacon. Rozier with the ball. Here's Zeller. Tips it up. Westbrook pulls it in. Houston's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Bacon the pass to Monk. Good D by Harden. For Houston, they've gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter. Up over 50%. And he gets it to go. Now it's a four-point rocket lead. You tell me, how, how do you defend that, Kevin? I mean, with Harden strength and command of the Rockets, it's almost unfair. Now, here's Monk, guarded by Harden. Monk gets to Rozier. 
Zeller inside, working on Green, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. Houston making some changes. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Green. And Damari Carroll subbed in for McLemore. And then for Charlotte, Hernan Gomez is checked in for Washington. Miles Bridges comes in for Dwayne Bacon. And it's Batum in for Monk. Pass to Zeller. Rozier with the ball. Four on the clock. And change shot. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Robert Covington picks one up. Well, you can't blame the defender. He was trying to be aggressive. But Zeller with just too much size and athleticism. And yeah, with Cody Zeller, he has a very workmanlike approach when he's on the floor. Yeah, Kevin, and, and that's what Zeller is all about, playing a simple meat and potatoes type game. I mean, what he does won't show up in the box score, but it'll show up in the stands. First free throw is good. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. And so Zeller nails both of them. Yeah, and the Hornets, uh, they'll be one of the more disciplined teams you'll find in this league. I mean, they keep the stakes to a minimum on both sides of the ball. That's a big part of why the Hornets are tough to play. And it's blocked. And the impact Bridges makes on the defensive end, showing he's not to be messed with. Carroll against Rogier. It's stolen by Carroll. Here's Westbrook. Down it goes. That's four made from the field. He's four of eight. And Chris with the Hornets, as we know, their coach Borrego preaches preparation. Well, yeah, and it shows it up in the stats, Kevin. I mean, they're the best in taking care of the ball. The team does not take silly fouls on defense. And here's Batum. He's got six. Now Rogier. That's good. The Houston lead is cut down now to just two on the basket from Batum. That's just years of experience coming into play. Batum's aggressiveness and basketball savvy. I mean, it puts defenders in difficult spots. Carroll against Bridges. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And a chance here now to take a look at the teams that are tops in the league and scoring points off turnovers. In third, the Rockets. You know, when you make a mistake against this team, they make you pay. I mean, because they convert those turnovers into fast break points, and that really Take can be demoralizing. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. Well, Mike D'Antoni uh, is a legendary coach in this game. He's found success at almost every stop. He's coach had only missing a title to cement his legacy. Houston making a switch. Gordon's checked in. The Hornets also with the sub. Graham's checked in. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And the Rockets with possession here. And it's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for Houston. They've led by as much as 10. And with Mike D'Antoni, Chris, you can see his influence as a coach throughout the NBA. Yeah, a lot of modern offenses borrow from things uh, D'Antoni created. The up-tempo early offense is a product of his seven seconds or less era. I mean, his imprint is all over the NBA. Outside for Batum. Zeller trying to free himself up. Count it in the Houston lead has been cut to just one point on the basket from Batum. Uh, with the run he's on in the second quarter. I mean, this field goal percentage is tremendous right now. And very close to making the shot, but instead he'll go to the line for two on the shooting foul. Clearly a foul. For Houston, they have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit eight of ten. And, and on the season, you know, they're hitting about 76%, which is a decent rate. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
That free throw, no good. Tavo Shafalosha has checked in for the Rockets. Good on the second free throw. Charlotte has gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. They're six of 15. Here's Hernan Gomez and Charlotte again with the bucket. Houston's gone 0 2 from deep here in the second. 158 left to play here in the half. Carroll, Herman Gomez grabs the miss. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Gordon against Bridges. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. Adept at maintaining his balance on the way up. Bridges, a strong player who can play through contact. Westbrook finds Sepalosha. Back to Westbrook. Pass to Tucker. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Tucker's got it all tied up now for the Rockets. Even though he lacks some size, Tucker's strength makes up for it. He competes himself. Charlotte shooting a pretty cool 37% from the four in the second. Not what they're looking for. Pass to Batum. Hernan Gomez against Cephalosha. Hernan Gomez passes to Bridges. Shot clock at six. Here's Graham. And a miss there on the triple. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot get his shots to drop. And the basket by Gordon. Gordon's got seven. It is showing how effective he can be. It's crucial that Gordon plays with confidence close to the buck. They play the clock right, then go two for one. Just got to time it up right. Up top for two. Covered by Cephalosha. Outside for Batum. It's up a three. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. The Rockets trail. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Outside Westbrook. The pass to Kira. Launches it. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Here's Graham from outside off the mark. From deep three-point range, and that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And that's it for the first half of action in what's been a very close game here. When it's ahead, leading by a point. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot. High turnovers in the first half, James. I'm sure that ball security will be a focus in the second half. Uh, yeah, that's still too many turnovers, uh, especially on forced uh, turnovers. So we got to really lock in on our, on our turnovers, make, a, make the right play at all times. James, thanks for the time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everyone, to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Some big-time action already in this one. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. The first quarter for the Hornets was fairly even. Some good action during the period, as it was just a one-point game at the end of one. They battled hard in the second quarter, and it was reflected on the scoreboard. Kenny, let's get your take on Charlotte. Well, I thought that turning point was when the bench came in. Those guys really hustled, and they gave the team some energy. And then they started to score baskets. That was a bonus. Shaq, how'd you think the Rockets were playing? They kind of get more aggressive on the glass. Over the first half, we saw them being schooled down low. You know what I'm going to say, Ernie. Barbecue chicken. If I was coach in the locker room right now, they'd be getting an earful. Extra rebounding. Effort will pay off in other ways. The energy is really where it starts. Something like that, Ernie. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway.
And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. One guy who's been getting it done is Malik Monk. Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. You talk about dialed in. Oh, man, what a tremendous first half. Okay, obviously he's feeling the flow, and he's looking to keep it going. Charlotte in the lead. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. Robert Covington out there with Green, and it's Tucker in at the five. They're the group for Mike D'Antoni starting the second half. And how about Monk there scanning the floor for the open teammate? That's how you develop a trust from your teammates. Westbrook passes to Harden. Over Monk. And Harden with the basket on the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And here's Rogier. He brings it up for the Charlotte Hornets. Pass to Monk. Zeller. Great positioning on the putback. And the Hornets lead by three. He plays with such intensity. It seems like Zeller's motor is always running. Certainly was there on that putback. Passes to Tucker. Green in the post. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Washington's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And here we can check the story out on Terry Rozier. How last month turned out for him. Averaging 15 points a game, six assists, and two rebounds. And he does so much for this team, but it starts with the way he leads the offense. Yeah, he's willing to take on the score and load it, and he's more than capable of delivering. Hornets leading by three. Monk for three. Trains the three-pointer. Monk's got 17. And you can see how well Monk shoots when he's in rhythm. He's got the green light to let it fly. But if the defense lags off at all, he's going to make him pay. And every miss finds its way to his hands. Well, what an impressive performance. Yeah, Greg, and it's more than just being in the right place at the right time. I mean, he's been active and aggressive. Nine feet out. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. The Rockets have gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker with the break. He gets that one. 16 points for Russell Westbrook. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. A coach knows it. And that's why they're running plays for him. They're getting him the ball and letting him go to work. And for James Harden, he loves to be put on an island and go one-on-one -on -one against a defender. Well, yeah, last season, Harden had as many isos called for him as some teams ran. And that's all because of his coach. His coach calls the games that way. It's his bread and butter. And there isn't much you can do to stop him with one defender. Pass to Green. Outside, Covington. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And, and, and really credit their advantage on the backboard. That's where the lead has been built, and that's why they are in control. Rockets trail by six. The drive by Green, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And the former Hoya Green, a, a rangy forward who can both score and defend from all areas of the floor. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? The free throw drops for Jeff Green. And the Hornets making a change here. Biombo's checked in. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Oh, you can get spoiled watching him at the line. I mean, you just expect him to make every one, every time. Rozier looking around. Six to shoot. Good D by Westbrook. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you could see the frustration on his face. Tucker. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. 
And there's the foul. It will go on P.J. Tucker. That'll be his second foul of the game. Houston making a switch here. Rivers checked in. Charlotte leading by four. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Monk for three. The rebound by Jeff Green. Green's got five rebounds tonight. It's Harden with the drive and the jam by Harden. Oh, and when Harden is going strong to the rim, he's looking for the throwdown, ripping the rim down hard on well, that one. The Hornets have gone somewhat so far, 4 of 10, on their shots in the second half so far. Ogier, the pass to Washington. It doesn't go for him. The Rockets have gone 3 of 8 so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. And he hits it to tie the game up. There is the unselfishness that coaches love so much. Rivers doing a great job getting it to the open man. Charlotte's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Ogier, the pass to Biombo. Here's Bacon, defended by Covington. Washington, that's good. Washington's got four this quarter. Just a late reaction there from the defense, and he is always going to finish that one. Rivers surveying the D. Stolen. Here's Monk. He's got 17. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Monk's got 20. The D has got to do something to take away his three-point shots. He's been knocking them down all night. It's Harden with the drive. And when Harden sees a clear lane to the hoop, just move out the way. He jumps on it. So relentless in how he exploits open space. Now, here's Rogier. Knocked away. And that'll be Charlotte as it goes out of bounds. Hornets retain possession. And McLemore, he's checked in for P.J. Tucker. Here's Monk. 20 points for him. Takes the three. A second chance effort. Green with the block. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. Already it's February. Let's see how the East is matching up. Taking a look at the Hornets. This hasn't been the kind of year they envisioned. Time running out. And you know, for the Hornets, they talked all offseason about how this year was going to be different. Nobody bought into it then, and nobody's buying into it now. We all know talking the talk is easy, but carrying through, that's another story. The naysayers' predictions were basically on point. Here's Rogier. Kicks to Monk. He dishes it to Biam. So the wing on the left. That's a two from Rogier. Another shot. Green with the block. Here's Biambo. And at last, they get one to fall. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. Harden kicks to Covington. Kicks it out to Harden. This is to Rivers. Off target with his three. Charlotte leading by three. Rozier with the ball. Plays it up off the glass. Rozier's got his second basket. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. And here's Rivers. Here's Harden on the wing. The three. A rebound by Washington. Washington's got five rebounds tonight. He's done almost no damage from three-point range in this game. No threes in this half and only one in the first. Uh, look, that's a nice play. You need low post scoring to keep your offense balanced. Now Rivers. He has... Oh! I mean, come on, man. Harden is ridiculously clever, including how he decides to posterize you. It's superb, athlete. 
So Rogier will bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. Leading by five. Charlotte calls timeout. And, and what a journey it's been for Austin Rivers since being drafted 10th overall back in 2012. Looked like he might not have what it takes to be an NBA player early, but he persevered and is now an integral part of this group. Tamari Carroll's checked in for Houston. Gordon comes in for James Harden. Let's take this moment to bring you a leaderboard featuring a very well-rounded group, the top rebounding small forwards in the NBA the last 10 games. Number five is Miles Bridges. And maybe they're not the biggest or strongest players in the front court, but that hasn't limited their ability to get in there and, and mix it up and come up with a lot of rebounds night in and night out. Well, yeah, one word you always hear used to describe these guys, uh, Greg, is active. They don't leave it to the bigs to do the rebounding. They get in there and they do it themselves. And with Rivers, he's never given up on himself and continued to add to his game even Greg as he's gone from team to team you know he's shown that he can function as either the point or off guard and still give great production from either spot and as he grows older you, you can see him being a top level six man for the rest of his career his individual effort has been outstanding tonight and it's helped him grab the lead and a lot of contact on that one so he'll shoot two here and let's see the stat sheet here on Miles Bridges how his last 10 games have gone. Getting around 12 points a game, five rebounds, and three assists. Okay, he's been making the right decisions and, and letting the game come to him. Solid play all around. Yeah, G.A., I like it because he's not overcomplicating things. I mean, he's just playing to his strengths and taking what the defense gives him. The free throw drops for Rivers. And he makes the first, but misses the second. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. To the right side. Here's Graham. Sinks the triple. Graham's got his first three points of the game. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, and they aren't just chucking up anything. I mean, they're doing a great job of creating quality looks. Yeah, easy call. The first one falls. Second free throw, no good. Charlotte leading by eight. And Gordon over to help. Over to the wing. Biombo, the pass to Graham. Batum against Rivers. And there's the pass to Bridges. Just five on the clock. Here's Biombo. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. Rivers, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And it'll be his fourth time going to the free throw line in the game. free throw no good it occurs for some guys playing in their hometown is a dream but there's also that added pressure isn't there 
Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, at least when you play away from home, uh, it's a little more quiet. You don't have to get as many tickets for the game. When I got a chance to play home in Detroit, it was one of the best moments of my life. And I thought to myself, this is a wonderful feeling, but could I have handled it for 15 years in my right. career? I, I don't know. That's 30 tickets a game. Oh, I, <laughs> I probably would have to go back into the NBA again just to pay for those tickets. But I tell you what, it's fun. And, and for me, a mama's boy, eating your mama's cooking before a game, it is never ever i've never had a better feeling before a game eating her food i did being able to go out and play i yeah. bet and a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far they're not playing defense with anywhere near the passion they showed in the first half there, there's been a big time drop off Pass to Green for three. Bangs home the trifecta. Green's got nine points here in the second half. He's getting hotter the deeper we get into this game. I mean, he didn't give him, didn't give him much of anything in the first half. And so Graham will bring it up for Charlotte. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Bridges shot. Good. Bridges has got his third bucket of the night. And after a first half in which their offense shot under 40%, they've got the lead, and they should count themselves to be lucky. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. Definitely not pleased with their rebounding at the defensive end. The, the number of putbacks they've allowed has been terrible. I'm sure that's what he's going to address during this timeout. Houston making some changes. Cephalosha comes in for McLemore, and it's Russell Westbrook in for Austin Rivers. And a switch here also for Charlotte. Cody Zeller's checked in for Biombo. Passes it to Gordon. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's on Nicholas Batum. Oh, he's a top-tier shooter. Gordon, he's a former six-man of the year winner who plays his role to perfection. Well, when he came into the league, Eric Gordon was tagged as a shooter. Now he's been shooting more than ever. And Gordon, the last few seasons, has been shooting, how about this, over eight threes a game. His success rate with them has gone up and down over the years. But one thing is for sure, he always has the green light. Here's Green. Started by Green. High, arcing shot, and it's Graham missing, and the shot is good. Ernie Gomez has got eight points. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Outside Westbrook. Cephalosia finds Westbrook. Green breaking loose. Shot is good, and the Charlotte leaders get back down to 10 points after they get the bucket from Russell Westbrook. Here's Graham. He's got eight. Pass to Zeller. Here's Graham. Covered by Cephalosha. Now the pass to Bridges. Shot clock at six. Charlotte moving it around. Here's Graham. Rockets with the rebound. Carroll's got four rebounds in this game. Outside Westbrook. Pass to Carroll. 40 seconds left in the third quarter. The dish to Green. Unloads from nine. Again, the Rockets score. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. 30 seconds left in the third. Hornets leading by eight. Graham with the ball. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Now here's Westbrook. He's got 18. Right side green. He dishes it to Carroll. 
and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. He had a defender all over him. So far in the game, he's 0 of 2 at the line. And that one falls for Carroll. Carroll hits them both. And so it's the Charlotte Hornets holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They've done a lot of great work from long range. Back to the action after this word. In a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. No, that's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. That's an outstanding play. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Rockets trail by eight. On the court for the Hornets. Bridges out there with Hernan Gomez. And there's Monk. Then it's Cody Zell. And it's Graham in at the point guard position. Westbrook kicks to Gordon. Green inside. Hernan Gomez covering. And Green gets it to go. Man, he is just really in a flow right now. That field goal percentage has gone through the roof. And so Graham will bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. Passes to Monk from the arc. No good on that one. And it's Houston the other way. Here's Westbrook. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. good from Westbrook and Russell Westbrook drops them both and typically not this reliable at the line but tonight he's been terrific Here's Graham. He's covered by Westbrook. Graham, the pass to Monk. And it's off from three-point range. Rockets trail by four. Inside. And it's Green missing. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. Well, that's why he's out there right now. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. It's stolen by Carroll. And Westbrook, here we go. And Westbrook throws it down hard. And you know Westbrook has an outstanding vertical. Once he gets to the launching pad, rim, beware. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. 
Here's Green. He's covered by Westbrook. And here is Graham. Out to the wing. Six on the shot clock. Charlotte no good that time either. And even though he's going ice cold, he keeps shooting. And it's late enough in the game for him to recognize uh, that <laughs> this is a better option. Charlotte's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Monk's shot's good. That's just the product of good pass work. I mean, nice team basketball right there. For Houston, they've gone 2-4 from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Gordon, the pass to West. He kicks it to Carroll. Back to Westbrook. And he makes good on the layup. Westbrook's got six in the quarter. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. And the Hornets call time here. Houston making some changes. Robert Covington's checked in for Damari Carroll. And it's James Harden in for Gordon. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hi, guys. I was able to catch the message James Borrego gave to his team. He said, this is what we play for, fellas. Let's knock them on their heels right out of the timeout. Show them how much you want it. Go get it. He really is fired up about this game. And Monk is an interesting player, a combo guard with fantastic scoring potential, quick on both ends of the floor. Shooting two. And he makes the first. Good from the line that time. Rockets trail by four. Outside Westbrook. Pass to Green. Kicks it to Harden. A rebound by Washington. Hornets leading by four. Now Rogier. There's the triple. The rebound by Harden. Harden's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And Covington gets it to go on the assist by Harden. Harden's got three assists now in this one. So Rogier will bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. The pass to Washington. Doesn't go that time. Great tee that time from Green. He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has not been there for them. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. For Charlotte, they've gone just one or six in the field to start the fourth quarter. A bit of a slowdown for them right now. It's tipped. Westbrook with the steal. Harden the pass to Tucker to take the lead. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got four assists now tonight. Oh, great ball movement there. And so here's Charlotte. Trailing by two. Rozier kicks to Monk. A three-pointer, no good. I mean, with all these three-pointers he's missed in the first half, I mean, he's come a weight around him. Now. Somebody tell him he's got to be more unselfish? Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Westbrook against Rozier. Pass to Monk. 
Down low, Washington. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Robert Covington picks one up. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Shooting two. Free throw good from Washington. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And it's Houston's ball. They're on a 16 to 5 run. Here's Harden. Double clutches. Here's Tucker. And Harden wide open. He shoots. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Now you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Oh, you're exactly right. I mean, that's the kind of shot you're trying to work for at the offensive end. And, and guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. Tucker with the ball. He's against Zeller. Or three, Westbrook. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Wow, his first triple of the second half gives him two on the ninth. He's not making much of an impact from deep. And the Hornets with possession here. Four-point game. Here's Rogier To the paint. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. No question he got bumped on that shot. First one falls for So he hits both. The Rockets have gone 8 of 13 from the field since the start of the fourth, sinking the majority of their shots. Westbrook with it. Outside, Covington. Here's Green. Pass to Tucker. Over Zeller. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. And the Rockets lead by four. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. have gone just two of eight in this fourth quarter the final quarter not treating them well so far now here's Rogier 11 feet away shot by Zeller no good Houston leading by four outside Covington to the inside Rogier with the steal A shot's good for Monk. Monk's got 12 points in just the second half. And how about Monk there? You better get in front of him when he's in attack mode. If you allow him to get to that launching pad, it is too little, too late. 
And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And here is Rogier. Pass to Bacon. Just five to shoot. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Harden. Inside, here's Tucker. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Zeller's got his 20th rebound here tonight. Saw that coming. Here's Rozier. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. And so Westbrook will bring it up for Houston. They've led by as much as 10. Harden left side. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Monk. And sometimes I feel like people don't truly appreciate the greatness of what James Harden does. He's one of the toughest guys to check on the fast break. He has one of the best Euro steps in the game, the best footwork in the game. will hit you in the head for deep. You can't check him without fouling him. The precision of his movements, the ease in which he scores, come on, man. That free throw good from Harden. As you said, C. Webb, what Harden has been doing the last few years is truly remarkable. Yeah, Kevin, and what's funny, because when you are achieving greatness and critics try to diminish what you're doing, it's just, it's just funny to me. Harden is one of the great guards of all time, no matter how you slice it. And the Hornets making a change here. Graham's checked in. The night Harden put up 60 points and had a triple-double, that, that was so amazing. I, I got to mention uh, that, that that's, 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 that's incredible. Rozier against Westbrook. Westbrook with the block. And that one goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Westbrook. Here's Graham, guarded by Harden. Shot clock at five. Got to admire the speed of Harden. I mean, he looks locked in on defense, especially with how he can test these shots. And there's the call on Cody Zeller. That is his first foul of the game. Rockets leading by four. Outside Westbrook. Here's the pass to Tucker. It's Covington on the wing. Pass to Harden. Fires from deep. It's not going to go for him. And the Hornets now going the other way. Here's Bacon. Defended by Covington. Up top, Graham. Got a piece of it. Outside Covington. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Well, you can't be too physical with Covington. He's tough. He's athletic and he knows how to force the issue. down the first one. And both free throws good for Covington. Here's Graham. is it to Rogier. Here's Bacon. He's covered by Westbrook. Bacon the pass to Zeller. 
Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Rozier, and he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. Oh, you got to love Rozier. Skying up for the dunk. Really seizing the opportunity and capitalizing with this tremendous leap in the building. Now Westbrook. Pass to Covington. From deep. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Washington's got eight rebounds in this game. Here's Bacon. Defended by Covington. Zeller. And it's rebounded by Covington. Covington's got six rebounds now in the game. And the jam by Harden. A ferocious player on the offensive and Harden is fantastic at staying aggressive, actively looking for a shot. And the Hornets call time here. They're behind by six. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter. A chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Russell Westbrook. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game, and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter. Westbrook against Rogier. Good D by Westbrook. Houston leading by six. And stolen by Zeller. One on one fast break. No one near Rogier as he lets it fly. Off target from outside. And so Westbrook will bring it up for Houston. They've led by as much as 10. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, it's the attack mindset. I mean, that helped him prevail right there. Sometimes you just got to go with your gut. misses. Hornets trail by eight. To the middle. Here's Washington. Powered down after the assist. Let him into the lane. Oh, the movement off the ball is good. I mean, and the pass to hit him in stride is even better. So here's Westbrook. Outside, Green. 104 left in the fourth quarter. And stolen by Zell. And not sure they've got enough time to save themselves. Oh, yeah, I agree with you, G.A., but I've seen crazy things happen. Here's Harden, and he uses the glass on the way up. And the Rockets lead by eight. And Harden is certainly used to finishing through the physical defense, demonstrating just how special a player like he truly is. Rozier with the ball. Over Westbrook. They get the rebound. Pass to Bacon. Back to Rozier. Lock at six. From deep. Green with the rebound. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down. Try to get some easy ones. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Westbrook against Rogier. 
For three, Covington. Seller grabs the board. And there's a whistle that's going to go on James Harden. That's his fifth foul. From deep three-point range, no good. So we see the Rockets get the win here. Some good moments throughout this one, but they have the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. James, congrats on the win. What got it done for you at the end tonight? Uh, just being aggressive. I told uh, my guys on the court that we had to make a run. It had to be a good one. Uh, defensively, we did a pretty good job uh, down the stretch. Um, we got some shots to fall and uh, we came with a victory. Good play tonight, James. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you later.